G'day guys. Um, welcome to the Majesty 120 walkthrough. Um, I'm going to try and make this one a little bit uh, quick because it is a very large boat. Uh, there's too much for me to go into great detail uh, without making this video about four hours long. So if you're interested in the technical specs, the equipment room, how the crew operates this boat and some really nice uh, test drive footage, we have just, just actually been for a run and filmed that. So I'll leave a, a link uh, up on the screen now and I'll also leave a link in the description below as well. Um, it's quite interesting that the skipper Alfredo took us right through the boat and we actually learnt a lot. Um, so yeah, Majesty um, Golfcraft built in Dubai. This company is, um, these guys, have, you know, I didn't know a lot until recently, until I filmed the, the Oryx 379. Um, did a little bit of research since then. There's a lot going on in Dubai, if you haven't noticed. They're building some cool boats. And, and the, the price point, I think, is, is the, it has to be mentioned. For the price of a 10-year-old European uh, build of a similar size, you get a brand new Majesty. Like, that's some serious value in these things. But anyway, as, as I said, I'm going to try and keep this quick. My name's Dan Jones. This is Dan's Boat Life. If you like this content, I make it for you. I'm just trying to educate people on boats. Subscribe. Give us a like. Hit the bell notification. If you want to support the channel, um, just sign up for my Patreon. I'd appreciate it. Um, but uh, yeah, come on in here a bit closer, Marley, and let's just go through. Uh, I'm here with Marley Cutbush. He's got flagship international. They're the dealers from Australia. But we started up at the fun section because why not? This is pretty fun. This is a spa bath. How good is this? And lounging area all the way around, the most epic views that one could imagine. Um, these boats really are um, not designed for, but very well catered to the charter market. So um, this, if you were running a charter operation, this is what you are selling, this awesomeness. We are here in the south of France and it's pretty awesome. So beautiful teak decks, wonderful furniture. You could sit 10 people around here, super bougie bar. I quite like this styling with the um, cushions. I'm sure you can do absolutely anything you wish and the best view in the house. Timber finishing up on the top and then towards the back here, we have these absolutely ginormous Sun lounges. <laughs> How cool is that? Sorry, had to do that. But come on down, let's keep this moving. Got the radar domes, got the mast upstairs. You'll see that in the drone pics. Quite large stairway down here to this deck level. And just try and absorb all this. There's gonna be a few people walking around the boat, guys. So just try and, you might need to use that joystick, Marley. There you go. So just, uh, few people doing some media stuff so please please excuse it but we have another lounging area just here dining table there we've got life raft deployment on either side here and here and this takes us down to the next deck below we go through these sliding doors here we have a mini bar area just there and you come in to the air conditioned space inside so we have a beautiful cocktail area here a couple of bar tables one, the first thing that you immediately notice is the luxury carpet. It's really, really nice. I'm sure once again, the Majesty will do whatever you like, but here we have beautiful big windows. So the picture that, that, um, that you create when on board, and I have just done this, we've been for a cruise this morning. Um, if you wanna be out of the heat and into the air conditioning, this is possibly one of the most uh, luxurious places in the house because a few people can lounge around here. You really are gonna have a good view over the water looking down over the sea wonderful place to come and hang out of an evening after dinner as well if it's too hot or cold outside and have a drink at the bar so there's going to be a pop-up tv here we've got high quality stereo all the way around come on through we have a day head just here i get the, like turkish bath vibes when i'm on these on these boats it's like i quite like you know, I went to Istanbul, I stayed at a nice hotel and I, I just got that really similar high quality impression when I'm on board. Um, so this is actually the, the helm. We're not gonna go through this because we've just filmed an entire video explaining all that. So if you wanna have a look at that, you can. But come on down. Now, I'm pretty sure the laundry Someone's doing the laundry, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just filming a video. Here's the laundry, no, no, it's quite all right. <laughs> so 
there's a laundry, and as you'd expect, the laundry is being done. Um, but come on in, um, we have another day head just here. So we are now on the main deck. And this is straight walk through into the master. So the master is on the main deck, so the owner does not need to go up and downstairs if he or she doesn't wish, but you have a full walk-in wardrobe just there. Another wardrobe just here with drawers, but just come in here and just appreciate all of this because it's very lovely. Once again, that carpet is the first thing that strikes you, but you've got these lounges, you've got the soft furnishings on the wall, on the roof. This is very, very high quality stuff and it, it leaves you with a lasting impression. Got a little makeup area here. I'll stop talking. I think I'll just let you absorb all that because it's lovely. I do have some footage when we're out on the sea this morning, which I can cut to. So, through these sliding doors, I can imagine some dancing going on here, I don't know why. Anyway, you have the world's largest rain head shower, all in marble. It's like this big and it's huge. You can have a sit down shower in here or more than enough space for a couple of people if that was necessary. We have a, a beautiful luxurious loo. I don't need to go in there, Marley, you can just show them. Just there, and then we've got the twin sinks. All glass doors, very, very high quality fittings. Super nice. So this is the owner's space, but come on down and we will check out the guest's cabin. So we go down this central stairway to the lower deck. So going aft, we have two identical uh, guest cabins, essentially. So each one has a big king bed like this. We have their, your own private ensuite. So go in there and have a look at that. It's a proper ensuite. Leave a comment in the description if you agree with my um, thoughts on the Turkish bath fires, but don't forget there's a proper stand-up shower in there as well. So nicer than most people's apartments. Well, then again, if you're a guest on this boat, you probably have a pretty nice apartment. And there's your wardrobe just there with a safe. And so that's on the port side. Coming through on the starboard, we have a mirror image. So we'll just quickly have a look at that. So as you come forward, we just have some firefighting and some systems there. What do we have in here? Storage, another fridge, that's handy. And then come on forward and the, you have this textured finish on the, on, the, on the walls just here and you go into some more identical cabins on either side. So midships, we'll just go into the port side and more like the kiddies cabins, but very large single beds and proper en suites. We've got TVs on the walls, huge windows, air conditioning. I've got to say the air conditioning is fantastic on this boat. You'd expect that on a boat coming from Dubai. Now we do have the fold down bed just here. So if you've got extra people, I think they can cater for like 14 guests on this boat. But on the starboard side, once again, we have a mirror image. with the ensuite. Now the hanging locker is behind that opening door just there. So the hanging locker is actually in here. Same again that we saw in the other cabins. But the VIP fold down bed just here is forward. So a couple of people in there now, but we'll just go and have a quick look. Sorry guys, we're just quickly yeah, filming a YouTube. We go out. That's okay. So here's the VIP. So we are now one level below from the master and this one is very impressive. We have smaller windows on either side, but the same big blinds and huge amount of space, nice roof detail just up here. It does feel very, very special. And you have um, separate, so you've got on the port side, you have the head and separate shower. So just go in there and have a look, Marling. So that's on the port side, got a window, beautifully air conditioned, Big TV just here, and this is like a full-on 
walk-in wardrobe. So I'll go in here for reference. So you could do all your changing and everything in here. So you've got hanging, hanging here as well. All of these spaces here to, you know, I guess you're gonna have all the fancy clothes on a boat like this and you're gonna be wanting to change outfits. So it's all very doable. So that's the guest accommodation. Now let's go back up some stairs. and we'll cover the lower deck. So probably most of your entertaining is gonna be going on in here. So here's your formal dining, just here. Forward of the formal dining to port is actually the galley. It's got a full professional commercial galley. That's covered in our other video. So if you're interested in seeing that, watch that video. But this is where you're gonna be spending a lot of your time We've got this lovely formal lounge. Once again, that same beautiful carpet carried through. Then you step onto the marble before you move out onto the lower deck. And just look at all these furnishings. It really is very, very special. And then you come through these sliding doors and go out onto the main deck out here. So this, this is where you'd have your parties, because you've got a, like, we probably had about 15 people on board this morning. What do you reckon? Maybe 20? You know, we all, we all stood around here and there's heaps of space and you've got this great big table here. Everybody is protected in shade. You know, the shade options on this boat is fantastic. And then you've got behind us access to the beach club. So what we'll do, we'll just quickly walk through down to the back of the boat and then we'll just wrap it up on the back. Hopefully I didn't forget anywhere. So this is the beach club down here. So we did actually look at that in the other video. So if you're interested in that, uh, once again, follow the link in the description, but this will come up hydraulically and you've got a whole beach club area. You can store a couple of jet skis in there. And you basically set up your tender on the back of the boat, put your jet skis in the water and there you go. So look guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a quick walkthrough of the Majesty 120 by Golfcraft. Um, I gotta say, these guys, whoop, there you go, found me again. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you get on a lot of stands at the boat show and some stands make you feel welcome and some stands make you feel awkward. But I think the guys at Golfcraft, they just want to do the right thing, welcome people, make great boats and create adventures. And that's the feeling I got when I got in here. I felt very welcome. So if you're someone who's just getting into this world of big boats or if you're someone who wants to run a charter operation or you just want value for money, um, I reckon it's worth paying some a particular attention to a boat like this. You've got range, you've got speed, you've got affordability, and you've got luxury, and you've got a bucket load of space. So it's an interesting prospect. I'll leave links in the description below to the dealers and the brand. I hope that was informative. My name's Dan Jones, it's been Dan's Boat Life. See you on the next one.